Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. It is finally time to reveal our holiday collection. <laughs> we are so excited to share all of the goodies we've been working so hard on. So check out these cards that you're gonna be able to make with the Pick a Pine bundle. The products in this bundle include the Starry Night cover plate die, the Christmas tree farm stamp set and dies. Look at that tractor. It has the little uh, bed that you can put the tree in. So cute. And look at that tree. Just adorable. <laughs> and then the patterns in pine, patterned paper, and the one fine pine background stamp. All of these products will be available in our shop on September 18th, 2019. They will be available as individual items or you can click that one shop easy click bundle, get the entire collection, and also get a little discount. It's a win-win. And we can't forget the sequins. The Christmas Cove sequins were created in the same color palette to coordinate with the patterns in pine patterned paper. So let's do a little stamping. I'm inspired by this gorgeous card made by Lisa Harrell. You see that sparkle and shine there? Well, she did that with some of our new powders by WOW. So we have a trio. We have Peppermint Scrub, Skylight, and Sage. And they were all done in that chunky style that we've been having so much fun with lately. And we also added some glitter in there, which is perfect for the holidays. So you can see each one of these uh, on the Hello Die there. Such gorgeous sparkle. Look at that skylight. It's so beautiful. And then we also are offering Sandcastle, which is a gorgeous neutral, and it has almost a kind of gold look there. So all four of these embossing powders will be perfect for your holiday card making, and they were created to go with our Patterns in Pine patterned paper. So I can't get enough of looking at this card by Lisa, so I wanted to give you another shot of it. It's so sparkly. So I didn't want to copy her card exactly, so I'm going to put my own spin on it. I'm going to start with Skylight, and I'm just sponging on some color, doing some ink blending with my life-changing brushes. I'm using Skylight. Just a side note. Uh, our ink pads transfer ink really easily out of the pad, so that's why you get such great results with them, but it also removes a lot of ink. You're going to need to re-ink them from time to time. And when you re-ink them, if you stamp right away, you might get a little bit of streakiness on there because the ink takes some time to distribute through the pad. So if you use your ink blending brush right after you uh, use your ink refill, it helps spread that ink out throughout the pad. So uh, there's another win-win for you. Okay, so the process for this card, I did the ink blending and then I sprayed water over it and I'm using watercolor cardstock on purpose because I knew I was gonna spray some water. I wanted kind of a dreamy, splotchy, textured look on the background here with a really light blue coverage of ink. So then I took my anti-static tool and after it was dry and I rubbed it all down and that helps make sure it's really dry so that when I add embossing powder later, it won't stick to places I don't want it to. So now I'm taking my Sage ink pad and I'm laying down a base color here for the trees. And because this is watercolor cardstock, it's great to use your Misty or your stamp, stamp positioner so that you can stamp it a couple times because that watercolor paper is textured. And so it's gonna take a little more effort to get a full coverage of your stamped image there. So now I'm just uh, wiping it down, sprayed it with a little bit of water and I'm, I'm cleaning it because now I'm gonna add my embossing ink. I re-inked my embossing pad first to make sure it's really juicy because I want really good coverage of this embossing ink because I'm going to use our new chunky powders. So here's my Sage chunky powder. Look at all that sparkle. So because this is a chunky powder, it has bigger pieces that are going to more easily fall off of the embossed ink. So I never tap really hard when using this type of embossing powder. So just give it a little tap to make sure uh, it comes off at the spots you don't want it. And then if you start heating from underneath, that will also help not blow off a lot of those chunks. So the result here is some gorgeous sage embossed trees with some awesome glitter mixed in. So for the sentiment, I'm gonna use our new happy dye. Haven't shown you this yet, so stay tuned. <laughs> and it goes perfectly with the Holiday Sentiment Mix stamp set. So I just stamped the holidays on a circle die. 
And then I'm using the happy dye and doing a little direct to paper with the sage ink pad. And then I'm grabbing spruce and just doing a little bit of ink blending along the edges. This gives it some dimension and interest. And then I decided I wanted a little star. So I took sauna ink, I did direct to paper to make sauna paper, and then I cut that out with the Starry Night cover plate, pulled out one of those stars and added it right on there. Isn't that cute? A Little bit of gingham paper I thought was a fun contrast, uh, a fun mix of looks with that glitter, and that's it. So be on the lookout for all the rest of our reveals and product sneaks all this week. Thanks for being here. Talk to you soon.